Hi, yep. So we're continuing on. Um, so we've got this one here, which has already got tan in it. So you think, all right, well, how, what we're going to do? I do know that tan x is sine x over cos x. Oops. Yeah, if I take the cos up there, I've got 4 sine x cos x is 3 sine x. Now, it's a little bit random, this one. Um, I'm going to take, see, what some people do is they'll just divide 3 by sine x, and that loses a, a set of values. So I need to take the sine x over. And take out sine x as a factor. There. So people cancel free by sine x and lose all the values for it. So we don't want to do that. So I've got sine x is 0, or I've got 4 cos x minus 3 is 0. So cos x is 3 quarters. Going back to this one, the inverse of sine of nothing is nothing. The inverse cos of 3 quarters is 41.4, I think. From the graph, if you graph sine x from 0 to 360, it looks like that. So when it's 0, it's 0, 180, 360. You have to be careful. This has got equals on it, but there was a question which was just not less than x less than 360. And if you put down the zero and the 360, you lost marks for that. So you've got to be careful with that one. So be careful that if it's, if it's not less than x, then it's just v. X is 180 then for that one. There. So that was like a, an exam question that caught people out. On the cos one, Going from 0 to 360, got my picture, dodgy picture, sorry about that. Uh, going across there for 3 quarters, it's at either 41.4. And the other one, because of the symmetry, will be 350 minus, 360 minus it. So I've got 41.4, and I've also got 318.6 there. So that's another one with tan in it, but it's a bit different. You can sense it's a bit different. Right, let's have a look at this one. So I'm using sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1. So I'm going to use these two to replace them. But it must be squared. I must replace the squared bit and not the other. So if you look at this example, it's got cos here. So that's what I want to change it to. Now I must change the 1 with the power. So it's got cos. I'm going to change the 1 with the power. Cos x. So I've got three lots of, so instead of sine squared x, I've got 1 minus cos squared x. And then if I expand the brackets, and take everything over so the cos squared bit is positive, so I'm going that way to get the, the cos squared positive. Stick that in poly. You could, you could argue it's a disguised quadratic because it's like 3 lots of something squared minus 5 lots of something plus 2. But we're happy with that now. So in poly, I'm just going to put 3 minus 5, 2 in for poly. Hang on. Let me press one button then. It's not going that, is it? So menu, equation, lots of numbers, poly, degree 2, so 3, bar up oh, minus 5, and 2. Gives me a 1 out, and it gives me a 2 thirds out. So if it was just... 3x squared minus 5x plus 2, and I put x equals 2 in it. But this is my something, isn't it? It's 3 lots of something squared minus 5 lots of something. 
So that's a cos x and a cos x. So if I do the inverse cos, so going back to the angle, the principal angle is the first one it sees, so that's zero degrees. And that is, what's a pack? 48.2. So on my picture, I've got where it's equal to 1. So that's 0 and 360. And on where it's equal to 2 thirds, that's where my 48.2 is. And it's the same distance in from 360. So the other angle will be 360 take away 48.2, which will be 311.8. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. All right. So a quick look at this next one then. Have we got time to have a look at this next one? How many more examples have we got to do? more examples. I might stop it there at six minutes. No, no, keep going. Keep going, Dave. Keep going. Right, so I've got a sign, so I want to change cos. So it's 1 minus sine squared x plus 5 sine x is 4. Expand my brackets. Make it also the sine squared is positive. Put it in poly. So 2 minus 5, 2 goes into poly. That gives me a half or 2. Remember, it's, it's 2 lots of something squared minus 5 lots of something plus 2. So that's the sine x goes there. That's 30 degrees, isn't it? It's on to my x. Now this one, look, you know that sine only bounces between plus or minus 1. So because you know sine only goes between plus or minus 1, this has got no solution. And if you remember, what we do is use the modulus sine. Sine x is less than or equal to 1. So that tells you it's between plus or minus 1. Uh, looking where it's a half, if you graphed it on your calculator, you get 30 degrees. So cos is the value and then 360 minus it. Be careful with sine because it's a value of 180 minus it. But then you've got to be careful if they're over here as well, you see. So that one would be 180. So the other value is 180 take away 30, which is 150. So I'm just using the symmetry. So that's quite a nice place to stop that.